Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic we are going to study in this session is Atomic Number and Mass Number. Let us first learn about Atomic Number. The total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is called Atomic Number. It is denoted by Z. All atoms of an element have the same atomic number, Z. In fact, elements are actually defined by the number of protons present in their atom. For example, Z equal to 1 for hydrogen because the nucleus of a hydrogen atom has only one proton. Similarly, Z equal to 6 for carbon. Let us go ahead and see what is a mass number. Mass of an atom is practically due to the protons and neutrons which exist in the nucleus. These are present in the nucleus of an atom. Hence, protons and neutrons are also called nucleons. The sum of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is called mass number. For example, the mass of carbon is 12U because it consists of 6 protons and 6 neutrons. Similarly, the mass of aluminium is 27U because it has 13 protons and 14 neutrons. In the notation for an atom, the atomic number, mass number and symbol of the element are to be written as follows. Such as nitrogen is written like this. But do all atoms of the same elements have the same atomic number and mass number? Always no. In nature, a number of atoms of some elements have been identified which have the same atomic number but different mass numbers. For example, take the case of hydrogen atom. It has three atomic species, protium, deuterium, tritium. They all have the same atomic number but the mass numbers are 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Do you know any examples of this? Carbon 12 and Carbon 14 and Chlorine 35 and Chlorine 37 are some other examples of this kind. These atomic species have a special name. We call them isotope. The atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass numbers are called isotope of that element. Many elements consist of a mixture of isotopes. Each isotope of an element is a pure substance. The chemical properties of isotopes are similar but their physical properties are different. But now you might be thinking that if an element is found to have isotopes in nature that have different mass numbers, what would we consider the mass of the atom of that element? Let's find it out. The mass of an atom of any natural element is taken as the average mass of all the naturally occurring atoms of that element. If an element occurs in isotopic forms, then we have to know the percentage of each isotopic form and then the average mass is calculated. For example, the average atomic mass of chlorine atom can be calculated like this. This means that if we take some quantity, it will have isotopes of chlorine 
and the average mass will be 35.5. Do you know one more interesting thing? Let us consider two elements, calcium, atomic number 20 and argon, atomic number 18. The number of protons in these two atoms is different. But the mass number of both elements is 40. In other words, this pair of elements has the same number of nucleons. Atoms of different elements with different atomic numbers that have the same mass number are called isobars. In this video, we studied atomic number and mass number.